The laws of logic include the law of identity. A is A. A thing is what it is. If one tries to dispute this, one must employ it during his uh, disputation. And then you are left with a homogeneous mass. But even that mass is that mass. A is A. The law of excluded middle is between being and non-being. There is no middle state. Something either exists or does not exist. The law of non-contradiction, A cannot be A and not A at the same time in the same way. A chair cannot be the table in the same manner. A thing cannot be at the one and same way. Another thing, it cannot be A and non-A in the same manner. Richard Nixon was the first president of the United States. Richard Nixon was not the first president of the United States. Both of these assertions cannot be true in the same manner. The law of non-contradiction is the compound word from the Latin contra, against, and decir, to speak. One can falsify a proposition by demonstrating it leads to a contradiction. An example is the following sentence. No one can speak a sentence with nine words. Well, I just did. So it is a contradiction. Atheism is not just riddled with contradictions. It is that, but what is most devastating for non-theism is it is grounded on a self-defeating epistemic ground, foundation. Atheism denies theism, and only theism provides the immaterial universals, an immutable that are required in their denial. Atheism saws off the branch it rests in. The laws of logic necessitate God, and the atheist require the laws of logic. Atheism proves and presupposes theism.